I sing the body electric. The armies of those I love engirth me. And I engirth them. They will not let me off till I go with them. Respond to them. And discorrupt them. And charge them full with the charge of the soul. of the body of man or woman balks account. The body itself balks account. That of the male is perfect. And that of the female is perfect. The expression of the face balks account. But the expression of a well-made man appears not only in his face. It is in his limbs and joints also. It is curiously in the joints of his hips and wrists. It is in his walk, the carriage of his neck, the flex of his waist and knees. Dress does not hide him. The strong, sweet, supple quality he has strikes through the cotton and flannel. To see him pass conveys as much as the best poem, perhaps more. You linger to see his back and the back of his neck and shoulder side. farmer, the father of five sons, and in them were the fathers of sons, and in them were the fathers of sons. This man was of wonderful vigor, calmness, beauty of person. The shape of his head, the pale yellow and white of his hair and beard, the immeasurable meaning of his black eyes, the richness and breadth of his manners. These I used to go and visit him to see. He was wise also. He was six feet tall. He was over 80 years old. 
when he went with his five sons and many grandsons to hunt or fish, you would pick him out as the most beautiful and vigorous of the gang. You would wish long and long to be with him. You would wish to sit by him in the boat that you and he might touch each other. perceived that to be with those I like is enough. To stop in company with the rest at evening is enough. To be surrounded by beautiful, curious, breathing, laughing flesh is enough. To pass among them or touch anyone or rest my arm ever so lightly round his or her neck for a moment? What is this then? I do not ask any more delight. I swim in it as in a sea.
This is the female form, a divine nimbus exhales from it from head to foot. It attracts with fierce, undeniable attraction. I am drawn by its breath as if I were no more than a helpless vapor. All falls aside but myself and it. The female contains all qualities and tempers them. She is in her place and moves with perfect balance. She is all things duly veiled. She is both passive and active. She is to conceive daughters as well as sons and sons as well as daughters. is not less the soul, nor more. He too is in his place. He too is all qualities, his action and power. The flush of the known universe is in him. The man's body is sacred, and the woman's body is sacred.
a man's body at auction. For before the war, I often go to the slave mart and watch the sale. I help the auctioneer. The sloven does not half know his business. Gentlemen, look on this wonder. Whatever the bids of the bidders, they cannot be high enough for it. This is not only one man. This is the father of those who shall be fathers in their turn. In him, the start of populous states and rich republics. Of him, countless immortal lives with countless embodiments and enjoyments. A woman's body at auction. She too is not only herself. She is the teeming mother of mothers. She is the bearer of them that shall grow and be mates to the mothers. Have you ever loved the body of a woman? Have you ever loved the body of a man? Do you not see that these are exactly the same to all in all nations and times all over the earth?
body, I dare not desert the likes of you in other men and women. Nor the likes of the parts of you. I believe the likes of you are to stand or fall with the likes of the soul. And that they are the soul. I believe the likes of you shall stand or fall with my poems. And that they are my poems. Man's, woman's, child's, youth's, wife's. Husbands, mothers, fathers, young man's, young woman's poems. Oh, I say, these are not the parts and poems of the body only, but of the soul. Oh, I say now, these are the soul. <laughs>